Don't look at me, don't. Your evil eyes on me. Your evil mind on me. Your evil plans on me. Your evil dreams on me. That will make your eyes. Oh, 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 that will make your eyes. Try to get me out of Yahuwah's hand. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Wishing to take his seat on me. Abomination. That will make your seat judgment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that will make ya get you killed. Mama, my too. And that will make ya set you ablaze. <laughs> Don't look at me. Don't. Don't look at me. Don't. No crap here. No nonsense. No compromise. Don't. Don't try. Don't try. Oh, you won't show. Oh, you won't show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you won't show.
Greetings to the twelve tribes of Israel scattered in the four corners of the earth, and to the Gentiles called by the name of Abba Yahuwah. Shalom, much love and prosperity attend your family because you are the reason of our time like truth. Yes, because the time is simply near. Just as we see the days goes by, and so draw nigh the coming of Yahushua HaMashiach, our eternal bridegroom. Oh yes, just as the Malak of Yehovah said unto Yehu Kana the Revelator, Sealed not the prophecies of this book, for the time is near. Exactly what we are doing here, family, decode the end times prophecies, signs, dreams, in prepare people like you, house like you, body like you, Yes, for the returning of King Yehoshua HaMashiach. Now is our eternal, eternal bridegroom, and to whom do all glory? Yes, worship, mm -hmm. honor, acclamation, exhortation, oh, all praises, wealth, riches, to the glory of his magnificent Father Yehovah the Almighty, and to the Ruach HaKodesh, the very blessed one. Yes, the very DNA of Abba Yehovah. Yes, the very pure energy of Abba Yehovah, my eternal ish. I bless you, Abba Yehovah, for you are my eternal yes, husband. You have been worshipped in the temple of your Isha. Our glory unto you. Mish Mekan and people, here we are again in the heavenly court room of Abba Yehovah retouch you or in consummation of this very wonderful life-giving message he has already titled for you and me on the Shabbat like I promised that uh, I'm gonna be doing the finishing part 3 today okay has he titled it for you and me already the mystery of Mah Mahadi means resurrection of demons path uh, part three yes the mystery of Mahadi means resurrection of demons part three so if you listen to one already by now you know where we are going one and two so family in case I share this in the news feed of course I'm gonna be doing that and you come in contact with this part uh, part three there's no way you can build your case over here. There's no way you can settle on this. Kindly go and listen to one and two. If you have already done so, therefore you are on your way to the mountain top. <laughs> okay. Therefore you are on your way to the mountain top to get instruction how to build your ark. And in order for you to escape the disaster, of my heart. so you know if you are a constant follower you know the seal in the in, in in these visions you don't pervert when you pervert is a cause and when you utilize it to the glory of Abba Yehovah it makes it on a blessing so if you listen to one and two you understand by now already again if you listen to one already and two already so you know what the letter N A H uh, uh, is okay, so the mystery from letter A the Abba Yehovah gave is not coincident at all. This is not coincident, this is what it is. What it is, that is exactly what it is. Mahardi in Arab war or in Islamic, whatever it means, the guided ones. Yes, it's going to guide many into destruction. That is correct, okay. But what Yehoshua dig out of this five alphabets called Mahadi it is disastrous you know names carries authority every one of us knows that okay names carries authority that's it all right listen to one if you haven't listened to two one and two okay in order to consummate the part three or this part three so now the uh, letter M what came out of it what was the vision? What it is? Magical mark of the beast miracle. Magical mark of the beast miracle. Yes, that is how it's going to deceive you. You know, performing great signs and wonders, but it is magical. It is not real. It's going to lead you into destruction if you ever submit to Sharia law. And the second alphabet, what did it go for? Anti-Messiah 
abolishment. It is Allah's greatest and final abominations. Okay. And the letter H, what did it go for? That one simply go for what? Have fire on earth. So right now we're going to deal with now the letter D. Left, left over these two alphabets. Okay. And the letter A really contains so much, a lot of history, you know, because the letter A sign was the sign. It was a event that already took place but we see matthew 24 15 to 70 or so yahoshua re-echoes it again and said it's coming back again that is preliminary signs it's gonna happen again okay so that one takes more than a fact i think <laughs> two hours or so to unveil yes it worth it so right now we're gonna start with the letter d what again inside letter so again before we go unveiled the uh, unveil the letter d since this one is another new clip so i would like to make a brief introduction about who is mahardin okay first of all yes i need to prepare or to water your mind okay every part of you about who is mahardin okay he, and uh, who is Mahdi? His duty in totality. He is the uh, 12 Imams. Okay. The stories of the first 11 Imams are generally just historical in nature. But not so with the 12 Imams. Okay. Which is Mahdi. Okay. Mahadi, Ma, Mahadi's own is spiritual and mystical. Who was about seven years old? He was seven years old. Okay. Uh, the 12 of Ma died. Okay. That one is being, you know, found. Yeah. It's, 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 it's history. Okay. But Mahadi is supernatural and mystical. That when he was seven years old, you know, being haunted. Okay. To also slay him so they're not hiding in a way of water in the mosque or before or close to the mosque or in the mosque okay so from there according to islam theory they said allah now has sent him over to his paradise all right so that is the mystery of mahadin all right so allah now flew him straight away to paradise so he's coming in this last days you know to fulfill his you know duty he hasn't yet a rule as the very last and 12 imams so he's coming right back in this last days so let me see put some history history or whatever that i jotted down mm, okay i've read that already mm -hmm. okay the 12 mom yeah okay what was about yeah seven years he is a messianic figure, okay, the messiah of Islam. He is a messianic figure in Islam, uh, Islamic eschatology. They have these three uh, signs, lesser signs, minor signs, and major sign. And one of it is Mahadi, the number one, to slaughter, to break the cross, and to kill the pox and the dogs. What is the cross to, to, to put down the belief of the cross that your Messiah, that your Jesus died on the cross? No, it's not going along with Mahadi. You're going to drop that. You know, you eat a pork, you Christian, that you eat a pork. No, it's going to, you are the pork they are referring over to here. Because you eat pork, you said Jesus cleansed pork for you. So now you can eat pork. And you are ducks also, as Messiah has already called you. In Matthew 15, also in Matthew 7. But more bird in Matthew 15. All right. So I think that is where Muhammad get these notions from calling one pig and dog. He got it from there. All right. Mm, all right. Now let me staple some more. Okay. Now to kill the pigs and dogs. Uh huh. And to establish caliphate. According to Wikipedia, caliphate came from this Arab word called Khalifa. Khalifa simply means substitute or um, um, 
substitute. What was what is the what was the other definition? Substitute. Ah, uh, oh my father. Oh, successor. Okay. The Khalifa and they are like God on earth. So that's what the Mahadi is coming to enforce. Okay, to established and uh an, an everlasting word domina uh, dominating Islam kingdom. The world must follow him as he takes over. Okay, or uh, he will uh, destroy all enemies of Islam. His army will be mm -hmm, massive army. They're gonna be massive. All right, now who will go from nation to nation to punish who refuses to convert to Islam? Black flag, one word written in their black uh, flags. One word means punishment. Whosoever that rejected Islam must be punished. And you see the ISIS carry the black flag already. It is one of the signs of Mahadi prior to Korea, you know, eschatology. And you also see Boko Haram again doing it here. It is what is found in Adi, uh, Quran and also Hadith, especially more, more, more uh, uh, especially Hadith. To break down, excuse me, to bring down Islamic paradise, you have to have chaos. Okay? A lot and lot of blood shout. Okay? And you see this uh, Iranian president, Admin, Admin, Tony Jasso, you know, he spent 17 million US dollar last year, you know, to renovate the mosque where uh, Mahadi needs to be materialized. Okay? The Iranian president, is a, a Shiax, okay, that is the side of Fatima, okay, and the Sunni um, um, a, a Muslim, those are the side of uh, Abu Bakr, the father of Aisha, the wife of the of their prophet, okay, so this is um, a Shiax, a few, about 50%, okay, they are minority, but the Sunnis are the majority, about 85%, so the Iran president is the part of a uh, Fatima, you know, for the Shia uh, Sunnis that believe any worthy one from among their brethren, Islam, can take over the caliphate, okay? Over the caliphate, that is being God on it. But the side of Fatima, uh, which is the uh, Shiaks, believe that only one that have the right to the seat or to the power of caliphate, uh, caliphate should be the descent, uh, descendant of Fatima. Uh, Ali, Ali, Ali was her husband, okay, the descend, uh, descendant of Fatima, okay, that is uh, Fatima children or whatever, so that is why they are killing themselves, so they said that anyone can go for it, but she has said, uh, uh, she has, yeah, said no way, all right now, just br brief history, so that I go for the uh, letter D, so where, 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 where am I, yeah, so for this kingdom to come down, simply means chaos for you you have to take chaos you have to have chaos for islamic paradise to come down here on earth listen to one or two and know what 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 is that have fire on earth that is the third letter listen to it part one and part two in order for you to know <laughs> what to do all right now mahadi that is um mahadi actually of course match up perfectly with the description uh, description of the royal law anti messiah okay that is their first sign their, their second sign goes this way their second sign is jesus who flew down from heaven with the wings of two angels jesus returned as a radical muslim to uh, uh, to assist and aid the mahadi jesus christ of the christian dawn, uh, Christians plays a very crucial role in Islamic eschatology. In the system, in their system, they have Jesus who plays a key role. Not never die. Okay, you know they, they, they believe that Jesus died. Okay, standing, but the, rather Allah flew him over there to their paradise. Standing next now to Allah, Allah will send him back here on earth just for one reason to point it out the error of the christendom he will be uh islam greatest evangelist and for sharia law 
Anyway, after that, he will marry, have children, then die and bury next to Mahadin grave. So this is the uh, Jesus in Islam. Okay, so we're gonna unveil what that is. Is a prophet, you know. They said they don't have a father. Is a bastard. Okay, and uh, he never died. He is not mighty. Of course, we support Islam hundred percent in this matter. Actually, there's no one like Jesus. The Christian don't Jesus never exist. Never goes to the cross. That is that is why Islam is coming. For that, I'm gonna break that madness off you. Only the true biblical Messiah goes to the cross. No Christian Jesus that died on Friday and resurrected on Sunday. How did you get three days and three nights over there? That said they should be keeping Sunday. That said they abolished the royal law. No, that Jesus never, he never exists. That is the, that is the hunger, the fury of Islam that they are going to pour upon you. Okay. So right now, that is just brief of it. And that said Jesus is going to come now. He is, he's coming here as a radical Muslim and he's going to be the greatest evangelist of all Islam and enforce Sharia law. Hmm. So right now, I brief you already, so let's unveil the letter D. All right now, so the letter D, what did it go for? According to the little ability Abba Yewa gave me for now to put this song together. You heard it already. But let's post scriptures to validate that mysteries. The letter D, double death. What is double death? You see, Right in Genesis, when the first man and the first woman sinned against Abba Yehovah, therefore Abba Yehovah declares a uh, death. And that death over there, it is not double death. No, I think I'm going to read from scriptures. But I want to first of all, like to, I want to give you this first. You know? And when Messiah goes to the cross, okay, he came to save us. He has already, you know, died, resurrected, and ascended into heaven, about to come now. But why are we still dying? Why should we still die? About all the twelve apostles, you know how they died? So that is the first death, which is very much applicable to everyone, including Messiah. That first death was, you know, applicable as well until he died, okay? Uh, you see? But this second death, it is the link of fire. Everyone is there. That is normal. That is first death. Okay, which is very much applicable to everyone, including Messiah. We see that. And now, the only one that is not going to test de uh, uh, taste death this uh, 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 time will be the one that is going to rapture. Okay, those ones that they will never taste death. Okay, but Messiah himself did that. So this, that is the first death, which is very much applicable to everyone. So right now, but the second death is not like that, is not applicable to everyone, only the, uh, to everyone, but only the disobedient children, okay? It is very much applicable until then. So right now, I put scriptures, you know, to validate these mysteries that came out from the very first letter of Mahadi. Listen to one and two. Because if you don't, I don't see how you how you can understand this uh, part three. No, it's gonna be some kind of a confusion. You are not gonna you can't get it because a lot has already a lot so much has already been unveiled. So I read now Revelation, um, yeah twenty. Uh, should I take it from ten? Okay, let me take it from verses ten in order for you to understand how it works. So the first letter, what did it go for? Magical mark of the beast miracle. And the second letter, anti messiah abolishment means, or it is, Allah's greatest and final abomination. And the letter H, what? Hair fire on earth. All right now. So the letter D, what did it go for? Double death. <laughs> Coincident? Of course not. No, it is what it is. What it is, that is exactly... What it is, what your wife said it is, that is what it is. Okay, that is what it is. He might even his name means the guided one. He's so he's going to guide you into destruction because he's the Messiah that's going to rule the whole world. He's the Messiah that's going to rule the whole world, convert the whole world through the help of Jesus Christ. He's going to rule the whole world. So that which means he's going to guide you all into Islam. You take the mark of the beast. That is it. That is double death. The mark of the beast is double death we are talking about here. So right now, let's read. 
from the very mouth of Yehoshua's visions. Here I have John, uh, excuse me, Revelation 20, uh, 20, I take from 10. And the devil that deceiveth them, because he's going to deceive you now, okay? And the devil that deceived, uh, that deceived them was cast into the link of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophets are. Who are the beast? The beast is Mahadi. And the first prophet is Jesus. <laughs> oh, little children, you're playing with the testicle of Allah. No, it's too heavy. You won't be doing that. If you know who is Allah, if you know who is Jesus, if you know who is Mahadi, you won't be doing that. Okay, Jesus is going to play. What role is Jesus going to play now in the, according to Islamic eschatology? What role? I read some of it to you, not all. Uh, the roles that is going to take over from or to play because they are at a movie like i said that islam is the very last video or dvd or video to play for the whole world to see christianity has been playing now for us to see almost 2000 years or over 2000 years because they are the large own which preceded from entire concept epiphany because that is where the little horn came out from so right now islam is to pick it up from where christianity is going to drop it they are about to end that system is about, we're going to see that in the very last letter the system of the christian is about to be finished okay because mahadi has to rule christianity has been ruling the whole world for more than two thousand years of course they were first greek you know anti epiphany the large horn has been has been in order has been in power in life in life Started from entire concept if you need. Let's see to one and two you know, in order for you to understand this. So now when Roma where the we are Roma uh Empire that was still the large O and where Roma handled the uh, key or the seat of power to Ottoman Empire then I pick it up well Roma Catholicism and from whatever every uh, thing Christendom practice is being given unto them from by the roman catholicism they are the one that you know established or enforced or established yes the christian don't you know religions they are babylonian that's why everything i keep challenging them everything you practice point it out from the royal law you can't find it. take it tied as money no it's not there so you see that's money no it's not there Okay, first fruit offering has to be the full month salary. Isn't found there. You know, pay for prayer. No. Buy handkerchief, water, sticker. No, isn't there. You can find, pay, pay talents. No, you can find none of this over there. You can't just keep it Sunday. No. January 1st. No. Christmas. No. Easter. No. Easter is not our feast. It's not our feast at all. Only one place you can find that madness, Easter. We know who put it there because name right worship the same God Christianity is worshiping today. Okay? He was talking about the feast of name right, not our feast. Go to Leviticus 23. There you find all seven feasts we don't have Easter. Go to uh, 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 the book of Adam study, one you call Esther. Chapter 9, you're going to find the feast of Puri. Over there we don't have Easter. Go to John chapter 10, 21 to 23. You're going to find again the feast of dedication. We don't have Easter. We have no biblical feast. We don't have anything such as Easter. They said they are Jesus died on their bad Friday. And they are Jesus resurrected on their early Sunday morning. Which is about a day and a half. We don't have such feast in our royal law. Okay. Easter, it is Babylon. Easter simply means Easter. Meaning goddess of fertility. So we don't have such feast. All right, so Jesus Christianity is propagating, never exists. Now, Jesus is the one to play, you know, Islam call him prophet, <laughs> so he's the one we're talking about over here, the prophet. Okay, now I think I'm going to establish this at the very last letter. I think it's going to be fit. Yes, it will be fit. Who is Jesus? Listen to part one and two. The resurrection, that is the title, the mystery of Mahadi, uh, means resurrection of demons. How many demons are going to resurrect from the bottle speed? 200 million demons. These are the armies of Mahadi. 
they are going to be appearing and disappearing of which jesus is one of them all right now who is jesus we can still trace where jesus came from it is the mark of thomas and that is the easter they are doing and the cross they carry it is the cross normally they used to worship thomas okay thomas is also being called god of fertility why his mother is called goddess of fertility now it goes like this let me just throw it out um, or should i do that yes because there's also scripture no let me do that with this uh, last lecture because there's scripture let me not miss it all together let me first of all establish this death okay double death it would be more appropriate yeah it would be more more you know okay more understandable so we are coming right back here we want to talk about the first problem but i prepare your mind already it is jesus this is the part jesus is going to play in islam and shall be okay should i take it again revelation 20 I read verses 10 now. And the devil that deceived them, okay, it's going to deceive the whole world, was cast into the link of fire, that is the second death, okay, and brings to where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw a great white throne, and them that sat on, on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before Yehovah. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and heady, you see, hell, excuse me, hell. Hell is not the link of fire. Hell, okay, it means grave and uh, torment and all those. Okay, hell delivered up the dead, okay, which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the link of fire. This is the second death. And also, ever was now found written in the book of life was cast into the link of fire so this is the second death so how are you going to get this second death from Mahardi? it is mark of the beast you renounce the author of life or you don't even know the author of life you convert it to islam it simply means second death that one or two ways about it when you take the mark of the beast you are gone it is eternal so let's put that <laughs> you are gone eternal you become the property of allah in the link of fire and the link of fire it is the second death okay all right now here we are revelation 40 i take from seven okay now or oh, six or so for a better understanding or oh, what oh my father okay eight and then followed another um, okay i take from six and i saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven having this everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people so that's what we are doing right now it's a language you understand okay is it not, it's not a language you doesn't don't take the mark of the beast it is the language you understand very clear and neat saying with a loud voice fear Yehovah and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the frontiers of waters don't worship Allah. It's a warning. Eight. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is folly, is folly. That great city, Allah wa kubara, simply means great. Allah is great. Uh, because she made all nations drunk, uh, drink drink of the wine of uh, of the wrath, excuse me, of the wine of the wrath of our fornication. So iniquity is coming to pour that garbage upon the whole world. You see? You know, that is spiritual fornication. It's going to lead you to eternal damnation. Now, and the third angel flew them, saying, uh, follow them, excuse me, follow them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, listen up. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yehovah, which is poured out without mixture. It's raw, raw fire, okay? 
into the cup of his indignation. Yes, you have provoked him so heavily that he is doing this because of your unwilling heart to repent from your fornication. Keep it Sunday. You, you are fornicating. Oh, no. And is the greatest abomination, okay? And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever. And they that have no and and they have no rest day nor night, which worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receive the mark of his name. Okay, then you say the punishment. This is what is called double death. You taking the mark of Sharia law, you renouncing, or you don't even born again atheist. It is time for you to born again. You don't you pagan. It is time for you to born again. Run to you what because disaster is coming down on earth. Remember, if you are a believer, it's coming it's like the days of Noah and in the days of Lot. So in the days of Noah, can you tell me how many people that we are saved, spared, you know, from the wrath of other Yehuah? Okay. And what was going on in the days of Lot? What? Folly deities now begin to intermarry, having, you know, intermarry with women. And women now begin to bring forth children for them that is called what? Giants. So if you want to know where we are right now in the spirit realm, we are back again to Genesis 6 and seven that's all we are now again i blend it two together it's coming it's also going to be like the days of lot and what was going on in the days of lot that is homosexuality allah in Quran is was to homosexuality in my royal law allah in Quran is equals to homosexuality in my royal law, yes, they have it says with Mohammed Didi. Kissy, sucky boys, children, uh, boys' penis, and uh, kiss, sucky their tongues. They say, if men offer unto him, this the only way men can enter Allah's paradise, if they can offer to him Mohammed what is in their legs and what is in their lead. So we now see in a carrier that mission, sucking boys' tongue. And said the tongue he sucked on we never go to hair fire what does that have to do with hair fire he also sucked their penis you can find all over in their teeth it's horrible mm? now quran itself also give you a similar promise of link of fire quran you know quran never guarantee your eternal salvation but it guarantee your eternal destruction that is Quran chapter 19 or Quran Surah 19 from verses 71 to 72. It's quote, all Muslim, because I'm going to be referring to all Muslim, because I can't include myself, mm -mm, because I don't belong to that company. That is not my where I belong. I know where I belong. Quote, all Muslim will first, first of all pass through hell. And Allah, their Lord, will not come over down to the to, to hell fire and deliver those that is good. Okay, who are these now? Those that is good, the one that fight Allah's corpse, the jihadist. And he said, We will not come down and deliver those that are good, okay, and leave those that are bad, wrongdoers over there, and put them on their knees right inside the fire. He said this is a decree, decree, decree from this is a, a, a short decree from your Lord upon you. Surely no one of you that will not first of all pass through hell. Quran Surah 90, verses 71 to 72 stated this very horrible <laughs> sight of the link of fire. So it guarantees your destruction, but it never guarantees your salvation. You see, Abba Yehua says, it's not his wish for any to perish, but to come to the knowledge of salvation. That is what he said. But Allah says, surely, no one of you that will not first of all pass uh, through hell. All of you is going down right away. He said, the world will come and to deliver the good ones 
and leave the wrongdoers over there and put them on their knees and to be tormented with fire eternal. That is what Allah said. Quran, I repeated it. Quran, Surah 90, verses 71 to 72. And all most commentary comment on this and, and say what I'm saying. It guaranteed their destruction, but now the good one will be rescued. Okay, Allah is coming down over there to rescue the good one. So now who is the good one? So that is where they now keep emphasizing for good, good works in order for Allah to come down to bring you out from the link of fire. I think we are done with this. We don't have so much now to put on this. And I bless Abewa because the second letter, the third letter was heavy, heavy. Even this one wants to also go to the letter R. It's another heavy, heavy. So family, listen to part two in order for you to understand the four horses men, okay? A powerful vision came. I myself, I couldn't believe the vision Abba Yawa brings out from it. Who are the four horses men? Listen to part two. Because that one is being unveiled in part two. So we want to unveil who is Jesus. Because they are all going to be resurrected. And that is the title, okay? So right now we are going to the very fourth and uh, fifth uh, letter. And the very end of it all. Before we also have about three points or so. And then we are done. Being to, be to Shabbat, coming up again with another powerful mystery, the mystery of capitalism. It's another wickedness of the wicked one. All right, now. Uh, the letter I, what did it go for? Uh, where is it? Where is this ugly face of my heart? All right, nice. I found it. So, now what did it go for? Letter I. How does it work? Hmm? Islam image of Allah rule the world. Islam image of Allah rule the world, rule the whole world. Islam image of Allah rule the whole world. Islam, Islam simply means submission or surrender. <laughs> you have to surrender, you have to submit to Allah as it takes over the lead of this color feet you must surrender you must submit to allah or you get your head chopped off will it not be better if your head is being chopped off but rather find grace you know from yehovah rather than for you to deny the truth and go to double death hmm? i think for me you know me i always i, I knew where i'm going already I'm not qualified to be. I know who I am anyway. I am the wife of Abba Yehoah, okay? I am the wife of Yahushua. I am the wife of Ruach HaKodesh. I know 100% who I am. But in case of a normal talk, if I'm not qualified to be among the congregation of Philadelphia, therefore I'm going to shift right away to the congregation of Smyrna, the one that will be killed by Mahadi. May I prepare my house already, you? Mahadi can come. I'm ready to die. I will never not take double death. Rather, let me take the first death and return back at the first resurrection. That will take double death and no resurrection for me. To be lavishing in eternal link of fire, so just read from the second alphabet. I won't be doing that. I don't have the appetite. I lose no strength for that. I'm going to sit over here. Hadi, you can come over. Jihadis, you can come over. I'm waiting for you. I'm ready to die for my belief. All the 12 apostles, no one died no more death. They will all be crucified and chopped up some of them their head. You saw, you saw Stevie was being stoned to death. So what, what make me better than they? If they can go through it, who am I? I'm ready. Okay. Because that is the only way the whole world is going to be having peace until you submit to the ru uh, rules of Allah. There is no peace on earth. Okay. All right now. I want to first of all put Quran. <laughs> you know, Islam makes submission or surrender. So <clears throat> it doesn't work that way. The way he work, uh, it work with other system. Okay. Uh, Islam system is different totally. In totality is another, you know, thing entirely. So right now, Quran 33, Quran Surah 33, 36, I read, okay, 
it is not for a believer or a believing man or a believing woman when Allah and his messenger have decided a matter that they should okay uh interrupt okay or thereafter have okay excuse me or thereafter have any choice about their affair and whoever disobey Allah and his messenger have certainly um excuse me yeah I make it big in order to see it clear okay they say he has certainly strayed into clear error so in another words you are not allowed when Allah says submissions you just submit you are not allowed to ask how does it work? What is the functioning? And uh, what is this? And uh, what? No, no, no. You, you don't question Muhammad nor Allah. Mm -mm. It's just one way, you know, movement. It's a blind belief. You are not allowed to question Allah. You are not allowed to question Muhammad. You are not, because authority of Muhammad is Allah, which is the Quran. So whatever you find over there, just take it. Islamic submission, that's it. Or surrender, that's it. And if you don't submit, so that's what we want to see now. We are being unveiling if you don't submit. <laughs> you don't surrender unto Allah. When Allah said, I need you, you want to question Allah or authority? Mm -mm, it is not meant for you to do that. Man or a woman. Because the matter I said is the matter is, is already settled. Thereafter, you don't need to ask me wh wh what is this and what is mm -mm, you, you don't. Okay. Alright, now let me put some Quran again before we now proceed to our royal law. To look into how they are going to rule now the whole world. We started from here. Let's start it from their own book. Quran Surah 5 verses 33. The punishment of those who wage war against Allah and his messenger and strive to make mischief in the land is only this. That they should be murdered. Okay. Or crucified. Okay. So I let you see that already. Let me also put some. All right, now Quran Surah 8, verses 39. And fight with them until there is no more disbeliever, that is unbelief, infidel. Okay, and religion is all for Allah. Okay, only Allah have the religion, no other one. He said, You should fight, fight everyone on earth until there will be no more infidel. Okay, let me put some more. Listen to this. Quran Surah 8, verse 67. It is not for a prophet that he should have prisoners of war until he had make, made a great slaughter in the land. So before you can have a prisoner of war, before you can have booty, before you can have prosperity, you need to first of all do what? Do a, a great a slaughtering in the land. You know, Quran verses that teaches about violence of war is 109. Or in total, 109. Quran Surah 9, verses 40. Fight against them so that Allah will punish them by your hands and disgrace them and give you victory over them and heal the breast of a believing people. So the breast of a believer could be their heart, okay, their heart desires being fulfilled. Hmm? Hear another one, another Quran. Hear this lesson. Quran Surah 9, 29. Fight those. Who believe not in Allah, nor on the last day, nor hold that forbidden which hath been forbidden by Allah and His Messenger, nor acknowledge the religion of truth, which is Islam. Okay, okay, so, uh, of, of, of truth, even if they are of the people of the book, until okay, now the people of the book, who are they? It is you and me. I'm not Christian anyway. I am the people of the book, but Christians also claim to be one of us. Yes, you're gonna drop Sunday madness, okay? But I'm not gonna drop my, I'm not gonna drop my Shabbat. That is why I'm ready to die, okay? Here, one again, Quran, nine, one hundred and twenty-three. All you who believe, fight those of the unbelievers who are near to you, and let them find in you harshness, okay? Very, very harsh. Listen to this hadith, Sahih al Bukhari, uh, book 52, 177. Allah's apostle said, 
the hour will not be established until you fight with the Yehudi. Okay, now, until you fight. Okay. The hour, this hour for them to rule the whole world is not going to be established until they fight against the infidel and bring all them to Islam. Another hadith, Sayyid Abu Hari 52.65, the Prophet said, he who fights, who, uh, who fights that Allah's word mm -hmm, should be superior. Fight in Allah's cause. Muhammad was at uh, the base, basis for offense. All right now, jihadist. So yeah, Bukhari 52, 220. Allah's apostle said, I have been made, made victorious with war or terror. So yeah, Bukhari 52, 44. A man came to, okay, I'm not going for that. You can you can read it all. Yes, I found I have found it. My most favorites. <laughs> Sahih Muslim one thirty three. Listen here, Allah. The messenger of Allah said, "I have been commanded to fight against people till they testify that there is no God but Allah, that Muhammad is the messenger of." Allah. I think I'm going to end it over here. <laughs> because it's too, it's too many. I can't read all. Alright. I also found another most favorite. Sahih Abu Hari 8. 300, uh, 387. Allah supposed to said, I have become, I have been ordered to fight the people till they say, no one has the right to be worshipped but Allah. Uh-huh. Did you hear that? And if they sent so pray like our prayers face our whatever mosque and slaughter okay as we slaughter then their blood and their property will be secured or uh, no um a sacred to us and we will not uh interfere with them except legally <laughs> So if you, now if they convert you to their whatever that you are praying their prayers you know uh, facing their mosque and whatever they are facing therefore now you are now one of them you slaughter as they also slaughter people now you are one of them so your property they they, they said they will not touch okay now you are jihadist you are fighting in the cause of Allah normally when Muslims go into battle they go they, they, they will steal uh, Muhammad was doing that rape the women. You know, take the, the the women and the, the, the children captive. That's what all he was doing all his life. So the women they took captive, they will share it. You know, that is that will not become their right hand possession. They were doing it is everywhere in their Quran, Quran twenty four. That one is more hurt me. Quran four verses twenty four hurt me so bad. That when Muhammad may go, go Muhammad and his followers go, went into ready. They took some women that their husband and took their their their, 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 their husband. This women husband leaves. They, they are married women. So now the followers of Muhammad feel reluctantly, you know, to have sexual intercourse with them. Not because they were a married one, because they said their husband was a pagan. So they don't know if Allah would be hungry, you know, if they go and have sex, sex with a a wife of a pagan. So they feel reluctant to do that. Therefore, Quran 4, 24, that came down from heaven, from Allah's paradise, that, instru that, that instructs them, yeah, you have to go and do it, have sex with them. They are your right hand possession. This one hurt me so bad. Okay. Yeah, that is the evil we found in Quran. So, Sai Muslim again, uh, 130, the messenger of Allah said, I have been commanded to fight against people so long as they do not declare that there is no other God but Allah. You see, so it's something that is settled in their heart. So in Abu Hari 52 uh, 73, Allah Apostle said, Not that paradise is under the shades of sword. Do you get that? So you have to know that paradise. Is under the shade of sword. What does that mean? Jihadist. And you go and slaughter. Therefore, you can't go to paradise. Okay, now Sahib Abu Hari 11, 626. 
Uh, Mohammed said, I decided to order a man to leave the prayer. And okay, so when they also call for a time of prayer, you fail to go now that you are being converted to Islam, they, they're going to set you up list. That's what he did over here. Where I just quoted, he's, he's a fighter. Okay, now mm, let me see. Maybe I'm going to stop here. One more to go. <laughs> so, I mostly, as I look into, I found all of this so important, but unfortunately, I cannot go through all. So, I mostly 19, 442, uh, excuse me, so I mostly 19, 42, 94. Fight against those who disbelieve in Allah. Make a holy war. It is holy war for them to behead you. When you meet your enemies, we are their enemy, who are a pagans invented uh invite them to three courses i'm gonna drop this not important where it where i wanted i it said you should make a holy war and the other one said anyone that died without fighting the cause of allah you died the dead of hypocrites so he must let 20 46 96 that is what he said you don't fight before you die so you just die being hypocrite all right now so we get some clue already from the quran so right now let us go to our royal law how they are they going to rule and where and what time from what time we are time to from when to where so let's pull those ones now so first of all let us start from uh where the promises was being given unto ishmael listen to part two to understand this one is esau okay Ishmael is the white horses man. On the uh, name right is the red horses man. At the third C, it is Esau. While the fourth one, it is K. This is their resurrection. Listen to part two because we unveil it so powerfully. I just want to brief it. Because a lot of scripture we used to unfold. No Ishmael. You know, Abayawa gave him a promise. He, ha he have not yet ruled. So it's their resurrection. Listen to part one. Excuse me, two. This one you're going to find in part two. The mystery of the four horses, man. I gave it to you already. Okay, now. Genesis uh, 16, I take 10. And the angel of Yahweh, this angel over here, it is Yahushua HaMashiach. And the angel of Yahweh said, uh, said unto her, I will multiply thy seed. A normal angel don't make such claim, okay? As seedily. Can I take it again? And the angel of Yahweh said unto her, is talking to Aiga, okay, or Hega, or Aiga, or Hega. And the angel of Yahweh said to her, I will multiply thy seed as seedly. This is Yahushua himself, a normal angel. Check it out, has never ever made such claim. Hmm? That it shall not be numbered for multitude. This is the time he's going to give the whole world to Islam. This is the covenant he have with them. But for a time and a period of a time, no eternal, okay? Level, now verses level. And the angel of Yahweh said unto her, Behold, thou art the, with child, and shalt bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael. Yahushua was the one who even named Ishmael. Okay, he gave him that name because Yahweh had uh, heard the affliction. Okay, Yahushua was the one who even named Ishmael. Why Ishmael, just as a holy child, you know, like Yehokana, the one you called John, was still in the belly. Yehoshua was still in the belly where all this name was being given. As that, the same with Ishmael. And in that name came from Yehoshua HaMashiach. And what did it mean? Because it said, uh, uh, Yehoshua held your, uh, your cry or whatever. That is when you pray. Uh, Yehoshua uh, Elohim, that is Elohim here, excuse me. No Yehovah, Elohim, Ishmael. El is God. Ishmael. Okay, Ish. Um, yeah, is here. God here. That is when Islam pray. Yehovah is going to hear them because He have a covenant with them. This is the covenant. He says He's going to multiply seed as seedily. Listen at twelve, and He will be a white donkey of a man. Okay, His hands will be against every man, and every man against Him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Yeah, he's going to sit as a king in the center of the OF, you know. And he said, this is how he said it's going to be against all nations through Sharia law. And Abba Yahweh is the one doing it. Why? Listen to part two. Listen to part one. 
Then you're going to know why he is doing this. He gave you a simple commandment. You refuse to keep it, the Christian though. Because they claim almost, they claimed almost half of the world population. If the Christian though, by birth, they claim almost half, half of the world population. But by religion, they are 2.7 billion. They are the very largest religion on earth. If the Christian don't carry Bible, the royal law, the way it is, devil wouldn't have been having that time. Allah wouldn't have been having that time to infiltrate, you know, the whole world. Anyway, this is a prophecy. It has to come to pass. Because Christianity was still in the loins of their mother when this prophecy was being given, and it must be fulfilled. So, yes, they must, you know, actually mix it in order for that to become the property of Islam. Because this is how Yahushua is going to multiply them exceedingly. So let us put some more from the second month. Because it is something that is really, they know who they are. Only Christians don't know who they are. But Ishmael knew Islam, they knew who they are. So here I am again, Genesis 17 verses 20. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. That is the meaning of Ishmael. I heard you, when you pray, I will hear. Behold, I have blessed him. And we make him fruitful and we multiply him exceedingly. He repeated that same multiplication here exceedingly. Twelve princes shall be shall he be God. That is their twelve imam. The very last one it is Mahadi. And I will make him a great nation. He repeated it again. It is much a prophecy that needs to be fulfilled. This prophecy hasn't yet been fulfilled because it's heard. It's going to be against all nations, and all nations' head is going to be against Ishmael. So this prophecy hasn't yet been fulfilled. Like now, I can say all nations' head is already against him. Because how? Me, I'm refusing. I'm waging war against Allah. Anyone that knows what Allah is, is going to be waging war against Allah. And the whole world is talking about bad of them, except the one that wants to pretend to love them. Okay? But the one that doesn't, that really see accurately or see clearly, you're going to refute them. The whole world is already against them, but they are coming against you now through Sharia law. And it is Abba Yehuwah's doing. Listen to one and two. So that you can know how to put your house in the, in your house in order. All right now. You know, Abba Yehuwah said, from Ishmael, 12 princes is going to come. You know, from Yeshiak or Isiak, the one you call Isaac, from him also comes who? 12 tribes okay but from ishmael it is 12 princes which today it is their 12 imam so the book of yasha here i am the royal popular uh, royal law we carries make references to the book of yasha okay so i read from the book of yasha chapter 25 let me check it over from yeah 25 verses 19 now um yes Okay, verses 19. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are they, uh, these are their names, being twelve princes, according to their nations, and the families of Ishmael, the families of Ishmael afterwards spread forth. And Ishmael took his children and all the property that he had gained, together with the souls of his household, and all the, all the and all belonging to him and they went to dwell there by the uh, uh, to dwell where they should found a place okay so that's where I want quickly want to hide now I want to bring out the, the Christian because the system of Christian is is, is, is is almost ended okay so we said the 12 princes over here again so right now I want to read verses 1 the same chapter the book of Yasha chapter 25 and it was that time that Abraham again took a wife in his old age and and her name was Keturah from the land of Canaan. So the mother of the Christian doll is called Keturah. Okay. And she bore him and she bore unto him uh as uh Zimran 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 okay uh your question, median, mid, um, uh, median, median, okay, okay, each bag, uh -huh. and suwak, being six nations, 
and the children of okay yeah i'm not gonna read their children 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 mm -mm. all right now verse 6 now and Abraham sent all this away and he gave them gifts and they went away from his son Isaac, the one he called Isaac to dwell wherever they should find a place and all this went to the mountain of the east okay because that is where the sun is coming from the very sun they are worshiping on their sunday and they built themselves six cities in which they dwell until this day okay now why do that include this look at this very good this is alessandra the great it is the servant of allah we found it in quran 100 uh, uh quran 18 quran surah 18 verses 83 way down to 101 allah said it's his servant and we also have this system in our royal law first book of maccabees and daniel 2 7 8 9 27 and 11. listen to part in order for you to understand this this is the last kingdom now all these three kingdoms from alexander the great is over this is the last kingdom and the very large oh this is the christendom and christendom has been ruling for a very long a time such a long time period of a time and now you see six children so why is it being six? Ishmael is 12 hours. It's also 12 hours. It's eternal. Ishmael is not eternal, but they are the final one, which is this very head, the little horn. Okay? So Christianity reigns, even surpasses that of Islam, because Islam really, we're about to hit on that. How long is it, is it going to be here on earth? So the one I want to, first of all, is that establish Christendom and Islam, they are of one go. I keep saying it. Jesus in the Christian is the spiritual mark of the beast. Why Jesus in Islam? It is the physical mark of the beast. He's coming out as a prophet, okay? And it is two months. We'll put that now. I promise to avoid that mystery over here in this very last point. Because they are all going to read together in the whole world for a thousand years. I, 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 I unveil it already. But scripture to validate it. We are coming to that. So right now, this is the large one. And this is the Christendom. So why their city was six? Yes, because they need not to precede more than six thousand years. They are, their end is uh, in the six. The authority of a man, it is not by six, okay? So they're going to end it. We are already in six thousand years according, of course, of human existence. Not the, whole, not the earth, but human existence. We are already in six thousand years. It is complete. So Christianity now in this six thousand years, they are over here. The verity Islam now is about to pick it up from them because they only have six in number and six city, so they need to end their leading in the cyst. Okay, in the six thousand years, they need to pack off for Islam to pick it up at the beginning of seven. Okay, we see the seven head, we see the seven uh, Mahadi was seven years, you know. To me, he was being killed there, he had hydrated, you know, being famished inside the world okay for me i know he was died he dead of hunger he was dead of hunger starvation because no water no food he died anyway i give it to them as they said they say allah you know flew him or fly him away into allah's paradise okay that is your problem not mine it's your issue to deal with so right now his coming was seven years okay seven food uh, food vengers uh um seven food vengers just listen to two in order to understand this so this is the question that they very large on they are at the tip and who's going to break them off it is islam because islam has to rule but you will have a covenant with islam but not so with the christian but still it gave the cis you know uh cities okay so they're going to rule for their race is going to end at six thousand years not that they are going to rule for six thousand no they are reign is must end at six thousand years because they only have six city okay they must stop at six thousand years and islam must pick it up because islam is the final and the consummation of it all and you did you, you heard that saying that that muhammad is the uh, of a last prophet that is correct the the last prophet they are referring to over there they are the last kingdom of this god empire to pick it up from the Christian home and run with it for a thousand years. And the eight thousand, this double death will surface. That is the white judgment throne. They're going to appear over there and be judged according to their wickedness. 
and after that being cast into the link of fire you just see we are read in revelation 20 verses 10 way down to 15 you saw it already so i i illustrated for you already this is the question of because they have six city you know indicate that they must stop their madness at the six thousand years they need not to proceed proceed islam needs to take it over from them i keep saying they are second to the last dvd or video to play for the whole world they are almost end we are almost at the end islam is to pick it up okay remember islam is 12 imam as the royal law prophesies 12 princes and so what is number 12 and we see from where their kid came from alessandra alessandra the great ruled also for 12 years so all these mysteries is in all over them if only you can study and understand this mysteries is all over them you can see it all over them so alessandra the great the very servant of allah from wells come because they said the life of alessandra was pro islam and the life of thomas was pro christendom or oh, veda because he is the first prophet now it's also going to be resurrected for scriptures to validate that so this very guy also wrote only for 12 years and we know what number 12 is it is authority okay authority of you know discipleship now we also have it in our system here i am revelation or excuse me john 11 9 and yehoshua answered are there not 12 hours in the day if any man walk in the day he is stumbleth not because he seeth the light of this world all right now we have 12 hours this is how the biblical reckoning goes you know six in the evening there begins the night hour six in the morning there begins the day hour so we don't have 24 hours it is 12 12 okay so the night hour begins six in the evening okay that is the night 12 hours begin over there they will end again in six in the morning and six in the morning begins the 12 hours of the day so that is what how it was that is why when they are referring and saying um, uh, 12 midnight they don't know what they are saying because chris said their day begins 12 midnight then when is your midnight you don't have and be asking all of them they have no answer so it is backward system the day the the the, the, the night hour begins six o'clock at evening when it's 12 o'clock in the night then you get mid midnight because it is six hours it's midnight you are in the mid night so six o'clock in the morning 12 hours of the night is over there the 12 hours of the day begins so right now ishmael have 12 princes we also have 12 apostles uh, 12 excuse me 12 patriarchs because the 12 apostles came from the 12 uh, uh tribes okay so right now what are we saying over here the 12 hour of the day belongs to Yahushua because he is the light of the day. Go to Revelation or Genesis chapter 1. The 12 hours of the night also have his own authority. 12 hour, that is Ishmael. This is the covenant Abba made with Ishmael. Not, it, it don't have no covenant with the Christian. No? But they all come to the scene. Okay, you also play your own part. But you will drop it when it is 6. Okay. You're going to drop it. So right now oh uh, okay uh look what 22 so let's see what the 12 hours of the night authority is we see that of the day already it is yehoshua it is the hour of the day they are all in genesis um uh, chapter one you can study it in your quiet time so right now we are going to look um, 22 53 or so yes 53 so here i am when I was daily with you in the temple, ye stretched forth no hands against me. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. So what is their hour? Death. What is their power? Death. Darkness. Death. You know it already. They wear the darkness that cover the surface of the deep. And that covering, it is here right now in the Sharia law. They are going to, Revelation 12 now, when the bottomless pit was being opened, darkness covered the surface of the earth. That for the, by the reason of this, no smoke that came out from the bottomless pit, the whole world was dark. Even the sun was darkened. That is, Yehoshua is the light. This Sharia law is going to darken the truth. The light of Yehoshua. 
It's going to be dark, dark it. Uh, Genesis chapter 1, darkness cover the surface again of the deep. What has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. Ecclesiastic 1, night, there is nothing absolutely new under this heaven. You see, uh, there are 12 hours of the night. It is to put you to death. It is to kill you. That is their authority. Eh? They are coming to do these great damages. We see already from their sources. If you don't shut Allah wa kubaru, therefore you're going to be slaughtered. That is the punishment of anyone that which war against Allah. This is their 12 hours of authority. It is to kill. The word they, they kill Yahushua, it is to kill. Yeah, it is to kill. Anyone that refuses to convert to Islam, but you better die and get resurrected just as Yahushua. Yahushua died. He said, destroy this temple in three, uh, three days. <laughs> I'm going to rebuild it. So these three days over there could be three years. Immediately after the tribulation, I can also say three months. So when they behead you, don't bother. You are coming right back again. He said immediately after the tribulation, okay, immediately after the great tribulation, the sign of the Son of Man is going to appear in the cloud. So it could be three months and it could be three years because we have a day as a year, okay, in the royal law. So it could be so, okay, so that is what I thought. Because he said immediately he's going to appear. And when it's come, that is the first resurrection. That same Revelation 20, uh, from 4 to 6, you're going to see as he's coming, is the first resurrection. The people that died in him, they are resurrecting him and coming along with him. Okay, immediately after the great tribulation, he's going to come. So it could be three months or three years. So this is the authority to kill. And this, their authority is disastrous. Listen to part two to know how hair fire was being placed on earth. Okay, now listen. Yeah, well, our first Corinthians 12, uh, 15, Ari 26. The last enemy that shall be destroyed, it is, is, excuse me, the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Death is an enemy. It's coming now to do a lot of destruction here on earth. All right, now. Yeah, well, are again. Galatians 4, we are still unveiling the covenant and the 12 hours of the night, night it is the authority of Islam. There are 12 imam, okay? So, the 12, uh, the, the, the covenant Yahushua made with them, it has to be so, to cleanse the earth. Because it's coming, it's like the days of Lot, and it's like the days of Noah. It has to be so. No other event to describe the days of Noah and the days of Lot, rather than that of Islam. That fit is so so well. This, this is the whole world is speaking of. He said, You are a white animal, a white donkey of a man. Your head will be against all nations. Everyone. All right, now. Galatians chapter 4. Here is there another covenant for confirmation. 22, way down to the end. For it was written that Abraham had two sons the one by a bound woman, the other by a free woman. And he who was of the bound woman was born after the flesh, but he of the free woman was by the promise or promise, which things are and okay, for this are the two covenants. Okay, listen now. For these are the two covenants, the one from uh, Mount Sinai, which uh, um. <laughs> Gender to bondage, which is Haiga. Okay, Haiga on covenant, it is bondage. That is Quran. Okay, for this Haiga is Matsana in Arabia and answer to Yerushalayim, which is, is and is in bondage with our children. So their bondage, it is eternal link of fire. They are going to rule from Yeru, uh, Yarush. They are going to rule, they, they will rule. Mahadeo is going to rule at Yerushalayim for seven years before Yahushua will throw him and put him in Mecca. Okay, so they are in bondage. No, the future Christian though, if they want to break this place, they will say it is the royal law. You are mad, totally. You are mad. You insulting my father. Don't worry, Mahadi is on his way for you. You're going to pay in sevenfold for insulting. The word of my father, because Yahushua is the word. How dare you? The covenant is speaking of it is Quran and the royal law. 
Does our royal lord live at Masana? No. Our royal lord came from heaven. He said the word of Yehovah became flesh and dwells among us. He came from the heavenlies. Even at Masana when the royal lord was being given, immediately Abba Yehovah returned to heaven and we left out of that place. Do we build an altar? Do we stay over there? Is our temple over there at Masana? No. Islam is over there now. Sinai Peninsula. Uh, Peninsula. They are the one that occupy in Arabia. It belongs to them. It is the Arab world. They hold it. There they got their Quran. And this Quran, it is bondage eternal. Bastard. These people, they make someone to speak. What one supposed not to speak? You have been bewitched, foolish Galatians. How dare you say it is the royal whereby it's so clear? Two souls, you have covenant with them. Twelve hours of the day of the night to put you to death. And twelve hours of the day to resurrect it is Yahushua. So when they kill you now, you're gonna be resurrected either three months or three years. He said, destroy this temple in three days, I will rebuild it. Twenty-seven. For it was, for it is written, Rejoice thou, bury, uh, bury that bearest not, break forth and cry, thou that uh, travelest not. For the desolate had many more children than she which had an husband. Who is the desolate? It is Islam. They, they have many children. Yes, they are going to give birth to the whole world. Only one third will be saved. Oh, for, uh, today the whole world is 7 billion alright now I bet you one said to, 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 to Todd is going to die at Babylon to Todd is going to be destroyed okay the blood of Yahushua is not covering to Todd only one Todd and he said that one Todd is going to take the through fire and what is fire it is Sharia law what is fire it is seraphim seraphim simply means the burning ones and this is the authority of the seraphims that is coming here on earth to set to a bless if you re refuse to convert to Islam yeah, it's going to do that damages. But in three days time, that temple will be rebuilt. Which you are. Okay. Either three months or three years, you're going to be rebuilt. That is resurrection. Okay. They, talk, they sleep. After post, excuse me. Um, um, uh, First Corinthians 11. I think from 30, way down to 32 or so, 29 to 32. Apostle shall make it so clear that because you take the body of Yahushua and the word in manner. Therefore, he said, if some of you sleep, he put some of you to sleep, fall asleep. He said, some of you fall asleep. And why some of you is sick? Sleep, a sleep over the enemy's death. When you also go to where I just read John 11, you're also going to find out when they said uh, Lazarus is dead, uh, dead. Yahshua said, no, he's sleeping. So sleep, it is to, uh, you know, to um, mm, mm, illustrate death. So the power of Islam is to put you to death in the night. Why the 12 hours of Yahushua were resurrected? These two demons follow us. Because the first death applicable to everyone. So the one that is going to chase it away from the people that is going to rapture. It is the power of resurrection. It's going to chase this 12 hours of the night. A uh, night of authority away from us. The one that they are going to kill. Yes, it is the authority that needs to carry it out. I read now 28. Now we, brethren, is Yeshiach. Or... Uh, is Siak, the one you call Isaac. Okay, we are from him. And uh, we are, uh, as Yeshua was, uh, the children of the promise, yes. But as then, as then he that was born after the flesh, which is which is Ishmael, persecute him that was born after this. Yeah, he's going to persecute one third. He's going to kill them. Nevertheless, what saith the scripture? Cast out the bad woman and her son, for she of the a son of the bind woman shall not be here with us. Yeah, it's eternal. They don't have no uh, no eternal blessing with us. No, their blessing is gonna last only for one thousand years. That's it. And they will face the judgment throne of eternal damnation because they are in bondage eternal. So then, brethren, so then, uh, brethren, we are not the children. We are not the children of the bind woman, but of the free woman. So to encourage anyone that listen to this message, know what you want and never give to Islamic, you know, mark of the beast, which is Sharia law. Again, I read from the book of Yashiel, chapter 21, 
11 to 15. And Ishmael, the son of Abraham, was grow up in those days. He was 14 years old when Sarai brought Yeshiak to Abraham. And Yehovah was with Ishmael. You see, Yehovah is with Ishmael. And the son of uh, the son of uh, Abraham. And he grew up and he learned to use the bow. Is the rider of the white horse. He always have that bow in his hand. And become a hunter. Yeah, he's going to hunt all of you down to Islam. And when Isaac was five years old, he was sitting with Ishmael at the door of the tent. And Ishmael came to Isaac and sit himself, and seated himself opposite uh, to him. And he took the bow and drew it and put the arrow in it and intended to slay, to slay him. This is why they will be cast out of the family. He's going to persecute you. It's a persecutor. So we do that. 15. And Sarai saw the art which Ishmael desired to do to her son, Isaac, and it grieved her exceedingly on account of her son. And she is sent uh, for, for Abraham and said to him, Cast out this blind woman and her son, for her son shall not be here with my son. For this did, did he seek to do unto me these days. You see, he always have that bow. Why that, a rider of the white horse is going to slay the righteous ones. Of course, he's going to slay the people of the book with a bow. You see that bow? Revelation 6, you see that bow? It's going to conquer and be. Uh, it's going to conquer and conquer. It's going to be conquering and conquered. Yes, because Abba Yehua is with him. Listen to part two. In order for you to know why is Abba Yehua is with him, the problem. I let you know already. All right now. So I want to shift into another point from this very part again. You see, it says a white donkey of a man. Where does donkey dwell? They dwell in the wilderness. They don't dwell in, the, in, in times. Okay, so I read now Genesis 21, uh, 21, 21. And he is speaking of Ishmael. And he, Ishmael, okay, let me, um, where they will be sent out of the family. And Yehovah opened her eyes, okay, let's see the water, okay, in her drink. And Yehovah was there with the lead. And he grew and dwelt in the wilderness and became an answer. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran. And his mother took him a wife. So wilderness has become his own. You see, he dwelt in the wilderness, Genesis 21, verses 20 to 21. So wilderness, and he said, you see, Ishmael is going to, prophecy is already been fulfilled. Ishmael is going to be a white donkey of a man. And where does donkey dwell in the wilderness? So Ishmael dwells again in the wilderness. So let's put some more. All right, now here I am, Job 24, uh, verses 5. Behold, as white donkey is referring to Ishmael. Okay, behold, as white donkey in the desert, they uh, go day forth to their work, rising big times for April. The wilderness yieldeth food for them and for their children. The children is the people that's going to convert unto them. They are in the wilderness. You will know why I put this wilderness that it is their home. There's temporary wilderness and there's eternal. Wilderness, wilderness. Let's put some more again. Here we are, Job 39 8 to 11. Who hath sent out the white donkey free, or who hath loosed the bands of the white donkey? Whose house I have made the wilderness, whose, ha whose house have made the wilderness and the barry land is dwellings? He is connect the uh, multitude of the city, neither regardeth the cry of the uh, dr uh, driver. The range of the mountains is his pasture, and he searcheth after every green thing. Why is he talking about? Prior to this, is is I'm I'm referring now to Ishmael. No one is going to set the donkey in the wilderness free. No one is going to lose the donkey from the band of the wilderness. No. Wilderness eternal is in their home. Because they said there they build their houses. They have their house in the wilderness. In the barren land they dwell. 
what, where is the barilla? It is the link of fire because link of fire is not going to bring no good fruit unto you, but pain and sorrow. You know what with is? It is to leave it, you know. Okay. Just use your own system, your own mind to calculate that. Okay. It's going to scorn. It says scorn the multitude of the city. Yes. Okay. I don't regard any cry of anyone. Mm -mm. They must convert to Islam because they want to make multitude in the link of fire. Okay. So now we are about to unveil the reason why wilderness also came because Ishmael dwelt in the wilderness. Okay, not in the presence of Abba, you were in the wilderness. That is eternal link of fire. Here I am, Revelation 17, 16. And the tell, excuse me, no, I'm not going over there. We are still coming over here. Okay, no. Mm. Where am I going to take it from? Oh, my father. Okay, and I saw, okay, not there as well. Okay, here, I think so. Yes, verses 3 now. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. So where is the woman city? This is Ishmael, the beast that carry the woman. The woman is a religion. Okay? It's a system of governorship, okay? So it doesn't necessarily has to be a woman. No, it is governing system that's going to be bringing forth fruit, just like a woman giving birth. Okay, when you keep reading, you're going to see, say, Babylon, the great murder of highlands. Okay, because they are going to pour out this garbage upon the whole world. Mecca simply mean murder of all settlement. Yes, because they are, they want Islam to conclude every uh, 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 one or kingdom that has been ruling a ruling a ruling a ruling islam is to consider the mother of all consummation all right so that is the meaning of mecca mother of all settlement and we see it over here what mother represent a religion that is giving birth i notice they are the fattest great religion on 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 earth and yahushua says it's going to multiply them exceedingly so where did this ministry live now he lives in wilderness. The beast is in the wilderness. Saudi Arabia lives close. It is the seven hill, just as uh, Rome also has seven mountains. The same with Saudi Arabia. Oh, I forgot. This should have been on part two. When I unveil the large hall, they are of they are in one body, but in two different ministries. Okay. So the woman is in the wilderness. So the beast that carry her is in the wilderness. So Ishmael is the beast. They are in the wilderness. Uh, the woman is the religion. They are in the wilderness. Wilderness is their home. So let's put some more. All right now. Matthew 24, 25 to 26. Listen up from the very biblical Messiah. Behold, I have told you before. Before. Handed. Wherefore, if they say unto you behold here is the uh he is he's talking about first messiah okay he is in the desert go not forth behold he is the in the secret uh, chambers believe it not he's talking about anti messiah okay okay can i read let me take it from 24 for they shall arise uh false messiahs and false prophets and, sh and shall show great signs and wonders in us so much that if it were possible they shall de deceive the late the very late behold i have told you before wherefore if they shall say unto you behold he is in the wilderness god not forth behold he is in the secret chambers believe it not because this messiah of islam is in the wilderness so if they tell you now this Messiah and this prophet, you see the Messiah, you see the prophet. If they are in the wilderness, don't ever go and meet them. Because their ministry is in the wilderness. Their propaganda is in the, is, is in the inter, is internal wilderness. Wilderness, yeah, it is the link of fire. Don't go. That is, don't take their mark. Because they are going to rule for a thousand years. I'm going to also give you that scripture. Here I am, Yeshua 21 verses 1. The one you call Isaiah. The bedding of the wilderness of the sea as wear wind in the south pass through so it cometh from the desert from a terrible land. This Messiah is a wear wind. 
is coming out and I'm, uh, is uh, what the prophet uh, uh, prophet is now so they say is a grievous vision because it's going to be disastrous it is a birdie okay bondage you know Ishmael oh, is in bondage and our children okay and his children and uh, this desert is in the wilderness and Saudi Arabia uh, or whatever the America is in this is in the sea okay only Saudi Arabia is found the America close to wilderness and also close to the sea and this message that do us in the wilderness is coming like a weird wind okay and it's from a terrible land it is Saudi Arabia then you you are going to be paying homage or you're going to be tripping in every haja to Mecca to go and be doing haja stony the devil <laughs> all right now our revelation 11 we are moving to the uh, last uh, point of this very um of this very uh last alphabet of this work called mahadi what is the last alphabet r what does it go for islam image of the beast rule the whole world okay that's what we're unveiling why because abba yewa have covenant with them to do that i read the revelation and this is how powerful Abba Yehovah has made them to be. You see, when we where we were in the book of Yeshua, he said Yehovah is with Ishmael. And what is the meaning of Ishmael? When Ishmael called, Yehovah is going to hear. So that is what it is. Ishmael, that is Elohim here, God here. When Ishmael called, oh uh, yeah. So I read now seven. Revelation eleven is seven. Uh, uh, Revelation eleven verse seven. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. He's talking about the two witnesses that is coming to prepare your hearts in order for you know to take Sharia law mark to prepare. There are two witnesses. The two witnesses is on their way coming. They are the one that's gonna really let you know what Sharia law is. Me, I'm just doing it very simple over here. But the two witnesses, when they come, this is their job for three and a half years. Because Mahadi is gonna sign contract for seven years. So uh three and a half year, it is to sign the peace contract, and that is the very moment these two witnesses are gonna be ministering the everlasting gospel onto the one third that needs to go through the face of affliction or to be beheaded by Sharia law. Mahadi is gonna slaughter them, okay. So that is the job of the two witnesses to prepare their hearts, okay? So after they have finished their job in this three and a half year, because that is the, the last three and a half year, that is the great tribulation. That is where the war is, the mark of the beast is. It all total, it all together, it is seven years. But three and a half year, there is going to be peace. When they are saying peace and safety, destruction will come upon them suddenly. Suddenly, in the midst of this seven, Mahadi will change his mind. Now it is convert to Islam or you die. Listen to Pachi in order to, for you to understand this. Now, so after they, they, they finish their prophecy, what happens? Mahadi is going to kill these two witnesses. Who are they? Anuka and Eliyahu. Because both uh, natural death they, they have not yet, haven't yet touched them. So we see they are the first rapture, the one that Abba Yehwa used to you know gave us the teachings of a rapture how is it going to be so i read now so they are coming and mahadi is going to kill them okay and their dead body shall be in the street of the great city everything is great allah akubar great dragon great beast all is great great miracle all there is great great which spiritually it is called saddam and egypt what is saddam and what is egypt Egypt, you know, they always enslaved the people of Yehovah. We knew that. And what was Sodom? Abomination of desolation. That men want to have sex with angel. So that is this. They are going to be laid down by the hands of these iniquity people. Okay? So where they crucify spiritual Egypt, uh -huh, where also our Adonai was crucified. They are the one who also did that, which is Roman Empire. And they, and, and they of the people and kindred and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half. That also represents the three and a half year that they are going to serve. They will serve three and a half year. They will be killed and their dead body lay on the street three and a half days as well. 
and shall not suffer their uh, body to be buried. Okay, after that, they are going to be resurrected. Okay, uh, several times. So that is when Yahushua is going to throw Mahadi. And it's madness. That would be judgment. I think. I don't know. Yeah, three and a half day. I don't know. Should it be three and a half year? No, their body is not going to be there. Three and a half year. No, it's not possible. Because the, the tribulations, great hour is going to last also three and a half year. Okay. Then there will be seven years. And in that seven years, Yahushua is going to carry Mahadi all of them and throw in Mecca. They are going to be shutting the Allah Kubar over there because he's going to take over the lead and lead over the tribe of Yahudi and the people that's also going to come along with him along the first resurrection. And it, that is why first resurrection has to be wait, uh, has to wait first, be, uh, be, uh, wait first for the great tribulation to take place. After the great tribulation, those that died that did not take mark of the beast, so that is why I said maybe three months or three years. As the first resurrection, they are coming right back. So as we are coming, we are going back to the Holy Land. So it can be that Mahadi, Mahadi is also try, crying Allah Kubara. No, he's going to throw them at Mecca. Let them go and be doing their Aja and their Kaaba madness over the Salah, whatever. And stone them so because they are the devil that needs to be stoned. So it's after this three and a half year, you know, the whole world is going to celebrate. Of course, Islam is, now the whole world is talking about it, meaning everyone that converts to Islam is going to celebrate because these two witnesses do damages to them. Okay, so they are going to celebrate their death. But after that, he said, breath from heaven will enter there. And when they are sent, their enemies, Mahadi is going to see they are Islam. Therefore, there's going to be a great earthquake that about 700,000 people down, 700,000, whatever. And send them into yeah with the cloud their enemy behead them so this is where we now need television it's going to be everywhere in the newspaper in the breaking news of these two witnesses the whole world is going to witness it and it's going to be breaking news say because their body is going to be lying down on the street so this is how powerful abe yewa has already made this with um mahadi to be is the one to kill the two witnesses so he's also the one to kill christian that is where we are proceeding to now i think so Yes, when the two witnesses are sent into heaven, it was 7,000 men that died. So I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm not sure, because it said three and a half day. That should also go for three and a half year. After the great tribulation, are they going to be on the street for three and a half year? That is impossible. Okay, because the destruction that is going to follow, it is Yahushua. You know, wiping all of the all this madness, it will take them because uh, Mahadi is gonna sit, you know, in the temple of Abbey Yahweh, right in uh, right at Yerushalayim. It's gonna sit over the third, uh, third temple, the very one they call Tribulation Temple. So, but only Yahushua is gonna, you know, throw him out of there. And when he's gonna do that, seven thousand men is gonna die. So I don't get that idiom. Maybe it's gonna be three and a half day. It is possible. Yes, let's take it the way it is. So right now here I'm we are preceded that this very Mahadi against the one to kill Christians is the one to end the functioning of the Christendom. Is the one to finish that. So I read Revelation 17 16 and the ten horns which thou saw it upon the beast, this shall hit the all oh, the highlot and shall make war and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and bear her with fire and bear her with fire the beast that came from the bottomless pit is the one to kill the two witnesses it's also the one to end the system of the christian law. so let's put some more all right now we see already that the beast that we are sent which is mahadi is the one you know to burn christian law with fire and we're gonna see how is he gonna do it because it's, it's the authority all right now ezekiel 16 39 to 41 and I will also give thee into the hand, into their hand, and they shall throw, uh, throw down thy eminent places, and shall break down thy high places. They shall strip thee also of their, of thy clothes. You know, they also make a naked in Revelation. We are just read, and shall take thy fair joints, okay, and leave thee naked and bare, and they also. Bring up a company against thee, and they shall stone thee with stones, 
and thrust thee through their sword. Remember, I said for a prefect, you know, to have the uh, prisoners, uh, pris uh, prisoners of war until the sword of war. Hmm? Until you, you, he said, until you made a great slaughter before you can have prison of war. How is they going to do that? Sword of Sharia law. And they shall burn thee, and they shall burn thy burn, and they shall burn their uh, thy houses with fire, and execute judgment upon thee in the sight of many women. Yes, in the sight of other religious Christianity is going down. And I will cause thee to cease from playing the high lot. What do we see in Revelation 17? We are yours, friend. Yes, it said they are, the beast is going to tear you down into pieces. It's going to burn you with fire. And thou shalt, uh, and thou shalt, and thou also shall give no hair anymore. Okay, no more blessing for you anymore. No more, uh, because Islam, Islam, it can never be hair with us. Neither Christianity hair with us, except the grafted in ones. It said, thou also shalt give no hair anymore. No more blessing. Your own is Your own is finished. You see, so right now we are going to Revelation 18. That is how it happens. <laughs> so this beast is the one to end the Christian door. Like I'm being unveiling, they are the large one that needs to drop down right now because they only have six, you know, to end at six because they have, they have six cities, the six children of Katura. They need to end right now and Islam to pick it up. And for Islam to pick up, they need to overthrow the Christian door. This is how they have been doing it. Check it out. Every power that every kingdom that always comes to power, it is always war to overthrow. Check it out. So they are going to overthrow the Christian. This is how I bet you always said they are going to set them ablaze. I'm going to strip you naked. I'm going to pack all your property. And they are going to set your house on blaze. What is house? We are the house of Jehovah. We are the temple. It's still referring to your body over there. Your house, which is your gathering, hmm? your eminent places. Your high hill, all these Christians, Christian, Christian everywhere, churches, churches everywhere. They're gonna set it ablaze. Okay. They're gonna set it up. No more of that nonsense. This is the end of the Christianity. Mark this message. It is prophetic. It is profound, okay? Alright now. Yeah, we are Revelation 18. After these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lighted, yeah, with his glory. And the crowd with a mighty voice saying, Babylon. The great is folly, is folly, and he has become the inhabitants, uh, inhabitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bed. For all nation has yes, all nation has already made draw with the one of Christendom. Lies everywhere, okay, lies everywhere. What they do you don't see? Now is their judgment, and how is that? you are going to judge them through Sharia law. It is like the days of Noah. They must be wiped out, swept down to Islam. All right now. Uh, where am I going to start from now? Another place I need to read. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. Let me take you from four now. And I had another voice from heaven saying, "Come out of her, my people." Yeah, that is the nature of this segment. Come out of her. Come out from Christianity before Sharia lost. You know, <laughs> batch on you. Come out of them. For her sin, listen now, for her sin have reached unto Yehovah, for her sin has reached unto heaven, and Yehovah hath remembered our iniquities. You workers of iniquities, we cast out demons, we profess, we do great wonders in your name. Sir, I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. This is how Yahushua is going to make known unto them that Jesus was Thomas. Jesus, you, you believe, never exists at all. He is a devil. He is the mark of the beast spiritual. This is going to reject them. Because they are going to say, we do this in your name, we do that in your name. I also sure say my name. No, Jesus is not my name. I never knew you. Because he said, whosoever that call upon the name of Yahweh shall be saved. How can you did not just call upon the name of Yahweh, but yet you did a great signs and wonders. Yet you, ne you never saved. Yet you are being rejected. Yes, because that name was not his name only one name is given under the seven whereby you must be saved no names just one the letter j that gave you jesus not yet three uh it's not yet 400 years old not at all and this spoken was was already being spoken almost two thousand years now so what i was saying over here jesus is the mark of the beast he is the first prophet in islam he is thomas i'm gonna and this jesus is gonna come out from the synagogue of satan that is what would be the very last one i will point out Arises. 
reward her even as she rewarded you because they, they defy Shabbat. You looked upon the royal law. You said the royal law is a cause. Really? Uh, you used the Bible to prosper your wickedness, making merchandise and uh, uh, people of Yahuwah. Rewarded as she rewarded you double and double unto her, double according to her works in the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. I say it's going to be double. You will suffer here on earth, you will face eternal domination. How much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, I am not a widow, I shall see no sorrow. You, you don't see this with their way. They say Jesus is going to fly them into heaven. They are not going to go through Sharia law. They said they will not face the great tribulation. Jesus is going to fly them away. Really? <laughs> you will not see sorrow. Okay, now we shall see. Uh, for it, now therefore shall her place come in one day. Death and money and famine, and she shall be utterly bent with fire for strong is Yahuwah who judged her and the kings of the earth and uh, the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her where we are in Isaiah those you commit fornication with they are the one to batch on you Allah Allah is the one to batch on you fire simply means seraphims and lament for her when they see her, the smoke of her Benny, the whole world is going to lament for Christ. Eh? The whole world is going to lament for her destruction. Because how? You're not going to be seeing Christmas anymore. You're not going to be seeing January 1st anymore. You're not going to be seeing Easter anymore. No more Father Day, Mother Day, Lover's Day, Children's Day, Thanksgiving Day. No, those is wiped out. No more Sunday madness anymore. It is Friday Friggy Day. This is how the whole world is going to lament, eh? This great religion. What? Yes, it's on the way. Coming. Ten. City af uh, standing afar off for the fear of a torment. This is going to be torment on the earth. <laughs> you don't want to. No, you must convert to Islam. Say, Allah's allies, the great city Babylon, the mighty city, the mighty city, for in one hour. That judgment come, that mighty city, do you know how many there are? Over 3 billion by birth. Tell me where any corner you cannot see. There are eminent places. There are high places, which is their altar. Where they call, where they worship their Jesus. Everywhere. Everywhere. Oh my friend, it's unspeakable. Their prostitution is well pronounced. Oh, my father, judgment is on his way. You defile Shabbat. You defile every biblical feast. You carry our book and use it to prosper. You cannot keep the royal law. When we say keep the royal law, you will say it's a cause. And Jesus nailed it to the cross. But if you want to steal, you will not go to Malachi. A pain of tight. It is a law. A sowing of seed. It is a law. A first fruit offering. It came from law. All these are law. But you don't want to keep my my father status and command me but you want to keep the money part of it even though all this has nothing absolute to do with money but you used to buy for private yet you bought for private yet you bought houses you bought uh, fat latest cars in towns you live in luxuriously deliciously ah no I, 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 uh, when I when this message comes, I say I just baruch abe Yehua because I'm be saying to the Christian, you're gonna pay for it using our book to make to live a strong vegan life, Rob, rob it from the poor. There's never no way the poor was be commanded to give offering tight, no soy no seed. Not, but they don't have tight belongs to offering. Go and check it out at Apostle chapter four thirty two way down to thirty seven. The true apostle of Yahshua was selling their house to take care of the poor. Money was being donated only to give to the poor. Huh? What? Out of Apostle chapter 6, he said everyone needs, we are meet up with. They, we are never lacking. Absolute nothing. Oh, yeah, Dick, You have four private jets? Chris, I me you have two private jets? All of you private jet, private jet, private jet? Latest cars, uncountable. Houses, uncountable. You've been labored among the rich on earth. 
while there is starvation in your midst, you're going to pay so dearly. And this is how my father is going to reward you. Okay, now. And the merchant, uh, and the merchant, uh, merchants, uh, excuse me. And the merchants of the earth shall weep. You see, the whole world is going to weep for the Christian because their religion is going away. Shall weep and mourn over her. For no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. No more come and pay tight. <laughs> come and say, say, no sin. Bring your full month salary to the pastor. The pastor offering the offering to shake the hands of pastor. No more of that. The, the, uh, two of them, the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and sleek and sl as, as scarlet. Because scarlet re re represents the words of redemption. You said Jesus is the Messiah. No, no more of those garbage. And all thy wood and all manner vessels of ivory and all manner vessels of most precious wood and of bronze, uh, bronze and of iron and marble. Uh, okay, it keep listening it all and all. This has to do with pros. This has to do with prosperities. Of course, you know that go. You know what it is. Precious to diamond. You know what all this is. I very marble. You know what all this is. Living in luxurious life. It's a no more. <laughs> that system is over. I love this message. A mock oh, this is what I love. Mm -hmm. uh, 14. And the first and the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee. No more tight, like I said. Come and shake my hand. You want need prayer? You have to put so so mad, so so mad. Selling of oil, selling of handkerchief, selling of uh sticker. It's a lot of prayer point. Chris, I can, uh, this guy come here the other day, uh, what they call him, Sulema. He sold. He sold all oh, yeah, books and uh, his prayer point, CD, the video. Uh, that is his message. You trade on our book, but you don't want to obey my father. But you use my father's book to make money. No more of that. Islam is the perfect one to put you in order because that your madness can't be tolerated anymore. Enough has to be enough. Because each time I look at Christians, I want to throw out. They always provoked my spirit. How? What did I see you do? What you see you don't do? What is that for? These are what they are so lusted after. But it's no more. And all things which we are um, uh, 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 goodly are departed from thee. And thou shalt find them no more at all. It is gone. The merchandise of these things which we are made, which made rich by her. And make rich for private jet, pay three billion, uh, three million each for one, uh, for each twelve uh, billion, uh, twelve million, uh, twelve million US dollar every year to maintain four private jets. Really, you get that through our royal law? When their brother friends turn against them and say no more pain of tight, it is not biblical, it is not scriptural. This bastard, David Oyedek, man, and say hell, they want to shut your heaven. If you like, you can go into fasting for 40 days. And you will, re you will even return back poorer if you are not a tighter. If you don't tight, you fast for open. If you say heaven can never be open, you are going to remain, return even more poorer because you don't tight. So our tie is now your open heaven. But here you don't want to keep our royal law. You don't want to do it the way it is. You, make, you become rich through the royal law, through your fornication with Allah. That same allies they want to burn you with fire. 16. And saying, okay, uh, 15 now. The merchandise of the of these things which we have made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and lamenting and, and, and wailing. And saying, Alas, Alas, that great city that was clothed in uh, fine linen. And purple and scarlet and deck with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour, remember when you go to a Revelation 17, you're gonna find it at one hour. That's where we are proceeding into now. Okay. How long is the array? One hour it goes for one day, one day goes for one thousand years, or one yeah, one thousand years. We have it in our in our royal law. For in one hour, such great riches is come to north. And every uh, shipmaster and all the company in ships, <laughs> as many as a trade by sea, stood far off and cry, where they see the smoke of our burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city 
and they cast dust on their head or whatever, the people is going to mourn because there won't be any trace of the Christian dome. You see, say so you trade on the sea. What is it? What are represent people in the royal law? You also see that Revelation 17, 15? What are represent? You trade on people. Mm -hmm. And the people, the others, your pastor, you raise up, you know, grow rich uh, through our royal law. The, the system is going away. That's what we are talking about. The system is going away. And they that become rich through this system, they will start off and remember, Ew, I used to get 10 million. Ew. Every Sunday, ew, that one is gone for me. Ew, that, they are gonna be lamenting because it's gonna be a huge lose for, for them. So he said, the, the song of brag and bridegroom is not gonna be here anymore of rejoicing. No, it's gone away of light. Mm, forget it. There's no more of this. Keep reading. So I want to put some more for the sake of time because I'm also running out of time now. <laughs> Christian, that you are going the way. So the system is, is the system, everyone is gonna be lamenting for. Everyone's gonna be lamenting for okay, it's the system, and all this Suleiman they will put sand on their head. Oh, my father, hey, how am I going to maintain my private jet? Hey, anyway, a private jet, if you convert to Islam, you're gonna share 50 <laughs> 50. <laughs> Every whatever you own, 50 is going to that is the Jezia, or yes, that is what they call Jezia. You're gonna be paid Jezia unto them, you know, as you take from one, why is also coming that key by son? Hey, we also die by son. As you are robbing from the poor, Islam is on their way to also rob from you. All those property you acquire is gonna become dears. Listen, now, and let's put some more. All right, now here I am, Revelation 14, verses 8. And they and they followed another angel saying, Babylon is falling, is falling. That great city, because she made all nations drunk of the wine of our wrath, of the wrath of our fornication. Because you were not preaching the true Messiah, you were pre uh, preaching the, uh, the cancer fit, which is uh, Thomas. And Thomas, okay, let me put, no, I have to put the time they are going to read. It is a thousand years, I will give you the scripture, okay? So, because you preach, uh, preach false doctrine, you neglect everything in the royal law. What you practice, is they are all from Babylonia, okay? So that is it. Your end has come. You must fall for, for, for Islam to take over. Okay, the system, that is what we are talking about. is going down, okay? All right, now here I am. Isaiah, Yeshiyahu, 66, verses 20. And uh, they shall bring all your uh, brethren for an offering unto you who are out of all nations. I'm sorry, I should have been reading 65. Rather, I found myself in 66. I read now, uh, Yeshio 65, verses 20. There shall be no more dance an infant of days, nor an old man that hath not fulfilled his days. For the child shall die an hundred years old, but the sinner, be an hundred years old, shall be cursed. So what he's talking about? He's talking about during the millennium reign of King Yahushua, a thousand years. So in this uh, system of Yahushua, because after seven years, Mahadi is going to, Yahushua is going to throw Mahadi and everyone uh, throw Mahadi because it's, Yerushalayim can never be his headquarter. It is Mecca. So that is where they are going to be doing their madness. Why Yahushua will take, it will be ruling over us. Okay, here. Now, Anyone that died being a hundred years old, he said, you are going to be considered a baby or uh, a sinner to die. Okay, you are going to be considered a baby. So during this ray of Yahushua, because Yahushua is really ruling, it's going to interrupt Mahadi. It's going to be throwing judgment at Mahadi because he said, uh, glad tidy. From the east and north, it's going to trouble him. That is Yahushua, as he said in uh, Daniel 11. So it's going to trouble him. Okay, for this 1,000 years, it's going to trouble him. But they must rule for a 1,000 years. He said, because this one, they have not yet ruled but one hour. And one hour go for one day, according to uh, biblical terminology. And one day go for a year or a 1,000 years. In this cup set, it is a 1,000 years. Okay, because Yahushua is here on earth, really a 1,000 years. And the last... Huh, of Mahadi or their last seven head, okay, is for 
thousand years. It's gonna rule for it. But the conversion is only three and a half years. But the signing of agreement and body conversion is seven years all together. But the ruling over them is gonna be seven. Uh, it's gonna be a thousand years. So right now, say if a, if you die being a hundred years, you are a baby. So we're gonna live live very long. We are coming back to the old. It is like the days of Noah. We are returning back to the old system. Now, I said, uh, uh, you see, Father Adam, from where? Every, uh, okay, Father Adam. I mean, what said the day will touch that tree of knowledge of good and evil. Uh, the day you 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 shall surely die. The day you will try it, you should die. And we we'll see, Father Abraham lived nine hundred and something years. He couldn't reach to a day which is a thousand years okay genesis 5 you can find that over there he lived lived 970 here uh yeah he could uh, live to a day he died before a day so that 1000 years the day who is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil it is allah and uh, mahadis to enforce it on people if you eat again from allah the knowledge of good and evil you shall also die in one day and that one day is going to go for a thousand years but at the very end of thousand years or before the end of a thousand years judgment is going to be set on you you're going to fit you yeah in during yeah during this a thousand years not close to a thousand years Allah is coming out from prison revelation 20 because he says he's going to spend a thousand years in the prison Allah will come out and do this madness again try not to wage war against the people of the book okay so that is how he's going to face judgment all this is in a thousand years okay so right now now you're gonna eat for, from the tree of the knowledge of good again and evil you're gonna live for a, the day you will do it it is a thousand years one day as a time you're gonna live like that of father abraham okay but when you die being a hundred years old therefore you are cursed therefore you are a baby so islam is gonna rule for a thousand years. so we're gonna live long 500 years 600 years 700 years yes Okay, so this will last for a thousand years. You know, that Revelation 18, like Christian and uh, Islam, they are in one body, double on, latch on, and they let you on. That is Christian and Islam. That Revelation 18 goes for both of them. First, Christianity will be judged like that. And the, at the end of a thousand years, Islam will also be judged like that okay so that place is always going for both and both because they are going to be resurrected uh uh as the other one that you know all the leaders you know my, uh, like name right is coming back yes because it begins the one world order uh case coming back because he begin you know to slay the righteous able because we do uh uh uh, uh righteously before yehovah so he's going to slay off for, for that Oh, it's coming back because he hasn't yet ruled. He must release his bow, you know, to kill uh, uh, the cover the promised children. And um, mm, mm. Esau is coming back. He's also going to to take your bed right away during famine because he's famine. Listen to part. It was profound. I myself was shivering. Why? I bet you what was revealing all this mystery to me. I said, eh, really? <laughs> all right now. All right now, quickly. Jesus is the first prophet. Okay. I read now looked um uh, excuse me so yes uh, here i am revelation 30 the first beast okay i want to start it all over from here and i stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the out of the sea having seven heads and ten horns okay so why am i here go to revelation 17 15 i quote it already people is a uh, uh, ref, uh, uh it's, it's a sea water okay the water the the water or the river or the sea the hollow sat upon they are people languages and all now this beast this is the first beast which is jesus is coming out from the first system now into another system this system over here it is the christendom now he's going into on a play as messiah here in the christendom he came out from the sea so that sea over there it is the first system of jesus and jesus is coming out from this very remember jesus is coming as a radical muslim okay it's going to be the great test of evangelists not to enforce sharia law in, from, in muslim or in islam so right now he came out from that sea now what i will say jesus in christianity is jesus being concealed and jesus now in islam is jesus being revealed yes that it goes that way in christianity was a mystery 
Okay. Now in Islam, it's no more a mystery. It's gonna reveal the way it is. Now this is the vision Abba Yahweh gave unto me. Listen to part two. All this uh, demon, fully dead, dead already. That is gonna be resurrected. Jesus is Thomas. What is the meaning of Thomas? Thomas simply means uh, a shepherd. A good shepherd or a bad shepherd? It was a bad shepherd. And it was a god of fertility. It's in the world history. All right? You can check it out. How was uh, uh, Thomas being birth? Immaculate conception. Just like Yehoshua. Nemra died. It goes like this in world history. Nemra died. Okay? As he died. Mm -hmm. Therefore, Samoremos, okay, uh, now said that she uh, she was being pregnant through the rays of the sun. Immaculate conception. Through uh, through her dead husband. That is how the baby called Thomas. Okay. Now Thomas, 40 years of each age, he died. We find that again in um uh Ezekiel, Ezekiel what uh 8 14. Women were weeping for Thomas. Okay, so we are going now to look where I just quoted. So Thomas died at the age of 40 years. So they now set aside each day for a year to weep for Thomas. And that is the length in the Christian before their uh, Easter. So after he died, Samuel Thomas also died. She died on Friday. And Sunday morning, Nemrah the husband now sent her back to this earth. And she now landed at the river Euphrates as a giant egg. And that is the very egg they are eating in this time. Just type it. Go to Wikipedia. You're going to find all this over there. It is in the world history. Oh, my father. All right now. So right now, Thomas, while he was God, you know, of fertility, he was being worshipped through cross. Cross was his identity. And we also know that cross, uh, cross it is the authority of the Roman uh, Empire that they used to put any criminal or anyone that is guilty of sin to death. That's why they also came Messiah through cross. And we know who is that cross, a wooden cross. It is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil again. You see, it said the day you touch that tree, you shall surely die. So now the tree is about to come. If you touch and eat again, you will die. Uh, the day is a thousand years, okay? So they will rule for a thousand years. Now, who is Jesus in Islam? It is uh, 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 Thomas. Thomas was the Jesus in the Christian dawn. All this while, that, uh, uh, Mary, it is their Samoremos. Follow up next year, but we're going to dig more into this. I just, I just want to brief it over here. But next, which, uh, next week, Shabbat, that is the uh, a mystery of the Catholicism who gave everything, Christianity observed unto them. So follow up, <coughs> excuse me, in order to get the full packages of it. Here I am, Luke 19, I read 14. But for his, cit but his citizens hated him. And sent a messenger after him saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. Why did I include this? Who is the first prophet? Because this first prophet, which is Jesus Thomas, is not going to come out from the Arab world. It's going to come out among the synagogue of Satan. Like I said in part one or two, the very descriptions of uh, description of a uh, synagogue of Satan, okay, Messiah, it has to do exactly with that of islam so it's going to be very easy for them and this first prophet has to come from the land of Israel. okay so this uh Thomas, you know these people they, they they are babylonian okay they came from babylon their own is next to wish about i'm going to unveil that okay the mystery of ashkenazi being too and uh, next wish uh, this wish about excuse me the mystery of catholicism being too because this message or segment or these days have a huge effort of purifying of God of Yehovah's people, excuse me, of Yehovah's people. All right, so it is to purify you and prepare you now. The, the, the this Thomas is going to appear among the synagogue of Satan and said, Yes, I am Jesus. I come in my father's name, you refuse, you re receive me not. Others going to come in, in his own name. Him you shall receive. So they are going to receive Jesus. You know the synagogue of Satan, they never believe what we believe. They, call, they never believe anything that has to do with uh, Yahushua. Mm -mm. So the very description of um, uh, Islam Messiah, it is there. That is what they want. Okay. All right now. 
I brief it next week. Uh, next uh, to uh, next Shabbat, be it okay. I'm gonna unveil this in more. Uh, uh, we're gonna uh, uh, disclose it more details. So the first prophet they have been seen and seen and seen. It is Thomas. Thomas means shepherd, and we knew Jesus came from all this place. It is the mark. Jesus is the mark of Thomas. It is Jesus all and all. So he's the, he's gonna come out among the synagogue of Satan and say, "Yes, I am the G, I am the prophet." Because Moshe said, "A prophet like me shall come from among your brethren." So he's gonna play that part of being a prophet. I am the prophet, prophet Saba, prophet Moshe. I am the prophet. Okay, that is the part he's gonna play because he's gonna assist Mahadi to prosper. You know, in his reign, this thousand years. Okay, so I think we are done with this. All right now, family, we proceed to the uh, first point. It goes like this. One more, uh, uh, one more final test for the Christian. Don. One more final test to go for the Christian don, to see if they will be worthy of Father Abraham Bosom. One more test. The Sharia law is one more test. If you are going to renounce, if, even though you are calling him Jesus, we know that Jesus will propagate never exist. But we know you are being deceived, okay? You are talking about Yahushua Hamisha, the biblical Messiah, okay? So, but one more test. Sharia is one more test for you. If you are going to renounce that Messiah is the son of Yehovah, Messiah is almighty, Messiah died, you know, buried. If you are going to renounce it, this is one more test for you to go, okay? To be qualified. You are not going to heaven, but to be qualified for, in, uh, for the uh, for the bosom of Father Abraham, Okay? All right, now Luke chapter 16, 19 to 31, you can read it. That is, when Lazarus died, the beggar, the angel of Yahweh flew him right away to the bosom of Father Abraham, where he was being comforted. So here is the test. Deborah 20, uh, 13, Deuteronomy 13, I take from verse 1. If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and giveth thee a sign or a wonder, and the sign of the sign of the wonder come to pass, wherefore he spake unto these, saying, Let us go after other gods which thou hast not known, and let us serve it and serve them, and shall not hearken unto the words of the prophet. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet. That prophet it is Jesus, that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For Yehuwah your Elohim proveth you, testing you. To know whether ye love Yehovah, your Elohim, with all your heart, with all your soul. Ye shall walk after Yehovah, your Elohim, and fear him, and keep his commandments, and obey his voice. And ye shall serve him, and cleave unto him. And that prophet, again, that prophet, or that dreamer of dream, shall be put to death, because he had spoken to, you, to turn you away from Yehovah, your Elohim, which bring you. I brought you out of the land of bondage and redeem you out of the house of bondage to choose thee out of the way of Yehovah, that Elohim commandment, thee to walk in. So shalt thou, uh, that, so shalt thou put the evil away from your misses. It's gonna test you. There's one more test on this way now, you know, because Jesus, that prophet is Jesus, gonna play powerful role, like we said already in Islamic eschatology, is right there. Okay, is the second policy in Islamic view. Okay, it's gonna play a powerful role. You know, also it's gonna be doing great signs and wonder. In fact, the wonder you have never seen before. Okay, but it said Abba Yuwa is to test you if you're gonna give in to him to renounce these five truths in you. He's testing you. If you lose it, therefore you are not worthy of the bosom of Father Abraham. You can read it around May 27 and 28 and see what happened. Those who did not keep the royal law. Okay, it is cause. Here I am, Luke chapter 10, 30 to 37. And Yahushua answered, answer, said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves. Thief is coming, uh, uh, yeah, thief. They are on their way to steal from you. Jesus is number one, and Mahadi followed. We stripped him of his uh, garment and wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. That is the first death. Okay, and by chance there came down a certain prince that that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. This is a illustration of Genesis three. The day you touch that tree, you shall die. 
So when Abba Yehua come to them, oh, this one said, a serpent deceived me, the woman said. The man said, the woman gave me to eat. The woman you put here, they will begin to shift blame to blame. Abba Yehua never said, he never said, oh, sorry, because serpent has deceived you, deceived you. What did he do? He placed a cause. Okay, so this goes for the first one. So the prince saw, saw him wounded, half dead. Your garment is being taken. Your system, your eternal, uh, your, your life is being taken. He don't care. Half dead. He don't care. He just passed by. Yes, Abba Yehua don't care. Because he lets you know what you need to do and what you don't need to do. He don't care. He still passed his judgment. 32. Likewise, a Levite, or a Lewi, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed on by the other side. Yes. You see, the Deuteronomy 28, he did it again. That's caused the scattering of the people of the book. You don't want to keep my law. He scatter us in the four corners of the earth. He don't care. But a certain Samaritan, which is Yehoshua HaMashiach, he came to die for you and me. Okay? And now handle us to Inkeeper, which is the Ruach HaKodesh. He said, if I go away, then I'm going to send the Ruach HaKodesh. And he's going to teach you all things. Okay? And he's going to be the word. He said, I will give you what it take from me. He's going to unveil it unto you. That is how he paid. Okay? He said, when I come back, I will pay. So the Ruach HaKodesh is the one sustaining you and me. I don't know if you're in the truth. This 2,000 years since Yehoshua ascended into heaven. Now, one more place for you. You see it already. We get the picture already. One more exile for you. If you take back of the beast, what could that be judgment? It is the internal link of fire. That is the third causes that is going to follow by Sharia law. If you ever take Sharia law or mark of the beast, you, that is you, you reject his commandment. Therefore, it's going to put you into eternal damnation. We see from place to place, place to place. The third one, he reserved that eternal damnation in the link of fire. If you dare renounce this belief in the face of Sharia law, that is the third course is on its way now for you. But don't do it. All right, now here I am, 1 Corinthians 1 8. Who shall also confirm you unto the end that ye may be blameless in the day of Yehoshua HaMashiach? You see, he wants you to be blameless because this day is on its way for you. But he wants you to be blameless. Don't give it to Sharia law. He is testing you to see if you will be uh, 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 qualified or worthy of salvation. Okay? It is one more test to go. Uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 5, 8. To deliver such, to deliver such and one unto Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved, in the day of Yahushua HaMashiach. Yes, let that destroy your body. It doesn't matter. But let your spirit be spared. Because Abba Yawa has already given your flesh to them to destroy it. Okay, but your spirit needs to be spared. Because your flesh needs to be destroyed. All this garbage needs to be destroyed. It's not needed. But your spirit must be saved. If you stand, you know, uh, 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 faithful in Sharia in the face of trouble. Yes, your spirit will be spared. It's a test on you. Yeah, Quran, Surah 4, verses 157, stroke 158. Allah said, I'll be reading it, okay? So this is how Allah said he did it in this very Quran I quoted for you. You can also tap it at Google and read it by yourself. Jesus, when the Yahudim wanted to kill him, Allah now take the face of uh, Judah Iscariot and now put it on Jesus, and now put the face of Jesus, and now put it on Judah Iscariot, and now fly, he flew Jesus into his paradise. So he says, so he makes to appear to them. So they now begin to see Judas now as Jesus. So this is how Allah tricked the whole world. Each one that believes. This is how they are going to minister unto you in Sharia law. That this is how Allah did it. And if you don't know who you are, therefore you're going to give in to them. Okay, you renounce the truth. So now we'll go for point two. You can read Jeremiah 51. Okay, in your quiet time. So point two, how did it go? Point two, taking mark of the beast means eternal last faint and gives the breath of life who is the breath of life it is the Ruach HaKodesh so you're gonna deny him okay here I am Genesis 2 7 and Yehovah Elohim formed Ma out of the dust of the ground and breathed him into his nostrils the breath of life and Ma became a living soul so if you want to know the mystery behind it this are uh, made from the dust can you go and listen to a mystery I did by the power of the Ruach HaKodesh title the mystery of sing uh, reveals the 
eternal and over no the overall and eternal bridegroom it is abe Yehua. listen to it we unveil it over there it is from one to four you're going to find what it is you see the bread of life all right now so if you reject and give into sharia law which means you are not going to have in this bread of life rather the breath of destruction so matthew 12 from 26 way down to 31 i read just 31 for the sake of time who who's whoever okay wherefore i say unto you all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto man unto men but the blasphemy against the royal hakodesh shall not be forgiven unto men not in this world neither in the world to come okay oh it is 32 uh, okay not in this world neither in the world to come it means again double death okay romans 8 11 it was he who raised yahushua from the death okay so uh when you blaspheme the breath of life is gone eternal from you uh revelation 48 to 11 we read it already say so you are going to be tormented anyone that worship the beast then take mark of the beast this is your punishment eternal you're going to be tormented with the flames of fire eternally so don't ever do that huge mistake it's going to cost you pains or eternity endlessly here i am in the gospel of uh, apostle Shaho, the visions of apostle Shaho. i'm sorry to say the visions of apostle Shaho. you can see that in second corinthians or so two of one to five years okay this is the vision he saw over there that he said it was unlawful you know to say out but we have it where he kept 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 it, uh, kept it. we still got it we have it over here all right now read 42 if you have it you can also tap it at google so i think so it is from 41 to 42 but i'm ready 42 because of 41 it is christian judgment who say yahushua did not come in flesh okay that their, their bodies be given to the flames of fire i want to go to anyone that's going to deny yahushua that's what i want to see and i looked to the south in the west and i saw the rootless worm and in that place there was gushing of te uh, teeth moreover the worm where one cubit long and the uh, and had two heads and there i saw men and women in cold and gushing of teeth and i asked and said sir who are these in this place and he said to me these are they who say yahushua did not rise from the dead and this and that so and and that he, this uh, flesh will not rise again that's so if you deny said so you also you are not going to rise okay mm -hmm. and i ask uh, okay that's where i just want to read okay yeah that's just th because this so you are not going to rise and where is the place of your torment inside of the the the, 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 the very um a mm, snow that he said even those so have to shine for 50 years mm -mm, you are still good to be freeze but for that of Christian, though, if uh, chapter, uh, verse, uh, chapter 1, uh, 41, excuse me, it is fire. Why? Because the truth is in their hands. Should I read it? Because I say Yahushua did not come in flesh. And Islam say Yahushua did not die at the cross. So you will not also rise. Okay? Because Yahushua, you are not rising. The Ruach HaKodesh is the one that rose him from the grave. He said, if that spirit that dwells in uh, if that spirit that raised Yahushua from the grave dwells in you, it's also going to raise you. But if you reject blaspheme and said, Yahushua never died, take mark of the beast and believe this nonsense, Islam is going to tell you, that's it. It, is, it means eternal blasphemy against the Ruach HaKodesh, the breath of eternal life. We are not getting it. Now, quickly, we proceed now to point three. Is the, that one is very short, okay? Like the point two. How does that work? Um, point three. Islamic view on anti-Messiah has to do with my own Yahushua oh that one hurts me <laughs> so quickly let me put the scriptures for you so what is islam said in their own view they said this messiah it is being written on his forehead with a capital letter so bold disbelief never accept allah and he said this written is on his forehead and it's also on the forehead of his follower you can see revelation 7 okay for that okay now i will read revelation 41 
Okay, he said, but only the Islam is the one to read this sign, okay, in the forehead of the anti Mashiach. And he said, this anti Mashiach is going to be so wealthy, he's going to be giving money to people. That is my Yahushua again because we know his humanitarian grant. He was doing miracle to help the, the poor. He did miracle to save souls. That is exactly what they said. That is my own Yahushua Hamishia. They said it's going to be so worthy. It's going to be, you know, happy people. That will hurt me so bad, but not public. He said that for this reason, they're going to make war <laughs> with him. But it will be broken without hand. Yeah, here I am, Revelation 14. One. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on my son and with him, and 144,000, having his name and his father's name written in their foreheads. So, of, 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 surely me, I'm not going to take mark of the beast, because this name is already on my forehead, it's a seal. Go to Revelation, so you're going to find it over there. The seal is going on right now. We are being sealed because destruction is coming on earth. So we are being sealed for divine protection. The trap of Yehuda won't, you know, or go through it because their tent needs to be saved, saved first. They are the congregation of Philadelphia. The seal is going on even there. And it's also going to face Sharia law. The seal is also on their forehead. That is his followers. If some of his followers will die, that is one thought. Because they will pass through fire. We know fire is, you know, uh, uh, excuse me, seraphims. And that is the torment of seraphim here on earth. We see already said they are going to bear with fire. They are going to stone to death. They are going to use sword. And that is the judgment of whosoever that refuses Islam, that refuses Allah. You see, so this is a, a little uh, a prayer I want to throw on this. It's so short, okay? Yes, that is my exact Messiah they are talking about. They say we will not take mark of the beast because it's being written on our forehead, disbelief with capital letters. And I love that. I'm so in love. When I read that nonsense, I say, anyway, I love this. They talk about a lot of trash, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to go because those are Abadabidi, the Toto Izobolizi, Bishop from a, a demonic Mohammed, you, you see. So I don't take those one into account. I have picked some. It has a lot of uh, signs also from. Okay, let me read. It said they are going to make war with the Yahushua Hamisha, but it will be broken without a hand. So now listen, Revelation 17 14. This shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is the Adonai of Adonai, and uh, King of Kings. And they that are with him are called chosen and faithful. We're not getting mark of the beast. Never. No way. Okay. So this is the mystery of Mahadi family. Stay in tune. This Shabbat. They're going to unveil the mystery of Catholicism. The very one that gave Christian Dawn rest on Sunday. I'm going to unveil that. So this is a warning for you. Don't take the mark of the beast. It is eternal domination. And this is what Mahadi is going to offer you. Don't give in. So let, the, the, let their flesh be given to Satan. Unless it has destroyed the flesh, but your spirit will be saved. That's what can't for life. Fear them not that can kill only the body. After that, they can't do no more. But let me show you whom you will fear, Yehovah. The ones that has the power to destroy both the soul and the body and send them to the link of fire. That is the one you ought to fear. They are on their way coming. This is the mystery of Mahadi. Stay tuned for this Shabbat. We go for another mystery. Shalom, family.
say, oh, no need for thy love. No to waste our bodies.